He was of Russian beginning, brought into the world in 1627, and was caught by Tatar assaults at 12 years old and was introduced to Kosum Ruler, the legislative leader of the time, by Kor Suleiman Pasha. Subsequent to being taken to the royal residence array of mistresses, her name was changed to Turkan Khadija. Turkan ruler, who was raised in the array of mistresses and was the principal courtesan introduced to King Ibrahim, brought forth sovereign Mehmed at 15 years old on January 2, 1642, and turned into the Hasaki ruler. The introduction of ruler Mehmed forestalled the danger of the finish of the Ottoman line, and thus both Turkan king and his child were brought to a unique level in the royal residence. Atika king, the little girl of ruler Ahmed, was uncommonly allocated to prepare in the royal residence. Hasaki's sultanate period went poorly. With the increase of his child ruler Mehmed to the lofty position, he turned into the king on August 8, 1648, and held this title for a considerable length of time until his passing. The initial eight years of Turkan ruler's rule, which started in an extremely violent time of the Ottoman domain, passed with extraordinary disturbances at home and abroad. In the initial three years of this period, as the mother of ruler Murad and ruler Ibrahim, she stayed in the shadow of Kosum ruler, who was the official for over 25 years. As a matter of fact, after the parade of ruler Mehmed, she needed to go to the old castle, yet with the intercession of the public authority authorities who upheld her, Kosum King, as the grandma of the Lord, started to be designated huge slash extraordinary slash old Valid and Turkan King, little Valid slash Valid Yi Sagir. During these years, the administration of the royal residence array of mistresses was additionally in the possession of Kozum Ruler. Kozum Ruler's compensation was 3,000 and Turkan King's was 2,000. The military managed the state and the royal residence during the extraordinary governorship of Kosim Ruler, who framed a coalition with his Janissary Aces. Not long later, powerful individuals of the royal residence like Suleiman Aga, the Lord's educator Rehan Aga and Ismail Aga, the questioner, started to accumulate with the little mother. Consequently, the battle for control between the two fronts increased. During the rule of Siyavush Pasha, the 4,000 vizier of ruler Mehmed's rule, the crumbling of the terrific vizier's relations with the Janissary masters heightened the battle between the court rulers who upheld Turkan king and the Janissaries who upheld Kozum ruler. At the impelling of Kozum ruler, the Janissary masters needed to take out a few subjects who upheld Turkan ruler, and consequently, the powerful individuals in the royal residence started to help Turkan ruler against the senior mother. The news that ruler Mehmed was harmed by the oldest girl and sovereign Suleiman was eliminated to the lofty position was accounted for to Turkan king by one of Kosum king's servants, Malak Kalfa and hence the circumstance turned out to be significantly more tense. Thus, with the backing of 14 retainers appended to Turkan ruler, it was chosen to kill Kosum ruler, and on the night between September 2nd and September 3rd, 1651, Kosum king and his allies were killed with the mediation of Suleiman Aga, the boss Leela. In this manner, Turkan King concentrated every one of the obligations in the castle in his grasp. Notwithstanding the event of significant occasions in the following five years, for instance, the China episode, back-to-back -back routes against the Venetians left Turkan ruler in a tough spot. The name of Kerpulu Mehmed Pasha, a local of whom the main engineer Gassim Aga exhorted the tribal leader, was furtively answered to Turkan ruler. It was accepted that he could tackle this multitude of issues and Mehmed Pasha was called to the castle. Tolerating the four circumstances set forward by Mehmed Pasha, Turkan ruler gave over all state undertakings to him. Mehmed Pasha's circumstances were as per the following. One, 
All choices and declarations submitted to the ruler must be acknowledged without conversation. 2. All arrangements from the most minimal position to the most noteworthy were to be made by the main pastor. 3. Duties and powers of legislators ought not be restricted by induction. 4. The assessment of the people who are foes of the head of the state ought not be considered in state undertakings. Since the fall of 1657, during the years when King Mehmed remained in Edirne because of the arranged excursions, Turkan ruler didn't let his child be. One of the viziers was uniquely allocated to safeguard the ruler during his little excursions from Edirne. During these periods, he went to Istanbul for a brief time frame and really look at the request in the city. During one of these excursions in 1661 to 1662, he fabricated an extraordinary space for his child in the royal residence, Ofsu ruler Mehmed Khan's room Dolma Bagsha Palace. Turkan ruler left Edirne with a service on June 5, 1672 for his visit to Poland and went to Babadag with his child. Ibrahim Pasha, one of the viziers, was allocated the security of Turkan king, who remained here until the military got back from the excursion. In the meantime, his eight-year-old grandson, ruler Mustafa, was with him. Nonetheless, the days here didn't go on for the rest of the outing. At the point when the military got back from the outing, Turkan king had a distant memory to Istanbul. After seven days, ruler Mehmed sent one of his viziers, Mustafa Pasha, to Istanbul to carry his mom to Edirne. The name of Kerpulu Mehmed Pasha, a local of whom the main designer Gassim after Turkan ruler Korpulu Mehmed Pasha's initiative, he continuously limited any association with state undertakings. From 1656 for the rest of his life, he took part in cause work. He didn't see the loss of Marzifonlu Mustafa Pasha, who was the child-in-law of Kerpulu Mehmed Pasha in the attack of Vienna. He kicked the bucket in Edirne on July 5, 1683, when the military was moving toward the Vienna post and his child was in Belgrade. His body was shipped off Istanbul the following day under the initiative of the town god Hussein Aga. It was brought to Yali stand on Thursday. Around the same time, July 7th, he was invited by the emissary in Ulima and was covered in his burial place in the new mosque, which he had finished in Amenon. With the impact of Amatullah King, Golnush kept ruler Mehmed from choking his siblings Sovereign Suleiman and Ahmad after the introduction of Sovereigns Mustafa and Ahmad, and furthermore forestalled the execution of fabulous vizier Siavush Pasha after his excusal and the homicide of Sabatai Sevi. Nonetheless, the evacuation and execution of Kojazade Masud Effendi who acquired impact in the castle during the Anatolian rule, yet became engaged with different political occasions subsequent to becoming Sheikhul Islam, occurred under the oversight of Turkan King. It is realized that he brought a sibling named Yusuf Aga to Istanbul in later years. The first known charity work of Turkan Sultan is the fountain he built in Besiktas in 1653, which has not survived to this day. During the ongoing war with the Venetians, in order to ensure the safety of the Dardanelles, he built two new forts on both sides of the strait, south of the two forts built by Sultan Mehmed the Conqueror after the conquest of Istanbul. A mosque, a school for orphans, a bath and many houses and shops were located in both castles. Both castles were visited by the king in the autumn of 1659 and in the summer of 1661 during the construction process and in the autumn of 1665 after its completion. Turkan Sultan personally participated in the second trip. The construction of the new mosque in Amenonu was completed by Turkan Sultan, whose construction was started by Safiya Sultan, who was the mistress of Sultan Murad and the mother of Sultan Mehmed. 
Its construction, which began in 1598 but was difficult and expensive due to its proximity to the sea, was left unfinished in 1603 with the death of Sultan Mehmed and the exile of Safiya Sultan to the Old Palace in 1605. The unfinished construction of this mosque, which only had its foundation laid, was completed 56 years later by Turkan Sultan, who wanted to build a mosque in Istanbul on the recommendation of the chief architect Mustafa Aga, 1663-1664, and began to function on Friday, October 30, 1665. The new mosque complex consists of a mosque, a hunkar castle, a Darul Gura, a school for orphans, a fountain, a tomb, and an Egyptian bazaar. In addition, after the conquest of the Kandiye Fortress, 1669, the costs of all the restoration works carried out in the fortress were met by Turkan Sultan, and the monastery of St. Salvador was turned into a mosque named after him. He built a mosque, Yusuf Agha Mosque, a caravanserai, a mosque and a school in Resmo named after his brother Yusuf Agha.